What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm bringing you another video and um, basically what I'm going to be doing today is reviewing this urn right here but before I review the urn I just want to say a massive thank you to Wrestling Days and WWE Fan Talk Show as on my last video which I said my personal top 10 favourite wrestling YouTubers they both left a comment on my video So, once again, thank you to those guys, and without further ado, let's review the urn. The urn isn't here. Hang on a minute. You give me that back. Ugh. Sorry guys, my dog was thought it was a funny idea to steal the urn. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I'm here with the urn and basically I'm going to do a hands-on review in a minute. It's just at the moment um, I'm just going to sit in the chair and talk to you guys about it. So basically, aesthetically it looks nice, it looks just like the urn. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say too much whilst it's just here, because there's not really a lot, a lot I can do from this angle. And, um, sorry about this guys, but where I'm going to have to do a hands-on review, it means I can't use this camera. I'm going to have to switch to a lower quality camera, unfortunately. Even if that is possible, because I know the camera I'm using at the moment isn't very expensive. But anyway, camera drop now. Sorry about this. Okay guys, I'm here with the urn, and I'm about to get hands-on. All you can see at the moment is... The urn in its, well, you can't even see the urn, it's just a black box right in front of your screen. Um, I'm, I want to apologise right now in case there is a microphone quality drop. It may be volume, it may just be the quality of the microphone. I'm really sorry about that. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so what you see here is the urn's box. It's nothing special. It's literally just a two-part box. That's pretty much all there is to it. On the back, it's got the dates of when the streak was, so it's got the from the first date to, which is the 3rd of the 24th, 91, to the final streak match, or the final time Undertaker won at WrestleMania, um, when the streak was still alive, the 4th of the 7th, 2013, which was against CM Punk. Now, these dates aren't alone, I'm not sure how well you can see because of the box, but they do have these little purple caskets, coffins, on there. Obviously, on the back, WWE shop, serial number. Um, on the other side, there's nothing, just a two-part crack again. And then on the front, we got the Undertaker logo with a 21 and 0 symbol, and then an Undertaker commemorative urn at the bottom. So, I'm going to open up the urn now. Uh, this is the front plate. I'm not sure whether the urn will hold. No, it won't. Okay, so I'm going to have to lay it on its side. Sorry, guys. Lift the front plate off. As you can see, it's got this nice purple uh, felt material sort of thing now basically this sort of just reminds you I think it's just to give you a flash from the past really um, because this is what I believe some of Undertaker's coffins the casket actually hit the interior look like this and uh, also Undertaker's old ring gear was purple and black so this is sort of reminiscing a bit on that nothing special it's literally like a polystyrene uh, styrofoam sort of material underneath it serves its purpose, it's meant to hold the urn in place, that's what it does whilst it's packaged. So, move that out of the way, we get to the actual urn box itself. I can stand it up. Unfortunately, the polystyrene on the bottom of my urn box is broken there, however, so the urn just falls right out. It's broken right here. Exactly the same on the other urn box, literally no difference. It's just a bit, has a bit more depth to it, so the urn can sit in there nice and tight. Now, without further ado, let's get on to the urn. Okay, so this is literally what you would expect from the Undertaker's urn. It's nothing special, really. You, it is what it is. It's just, it's just the urn. It's made out of solid material. It's a one piece. It's not two parts, so the lid doesn't come off, as you can see. Um, it's got the Undertaker logo. Sorry, I keep saying um. I don't really know what to say. I've never done one of these before, so please forgive me. A few inches later, it's got the Undertaker logo on the front, and this is this is engraved. This is depth in as unfortunately i feel like this is painted on it's the 21 and 0 symbol 
these lines are also engraved in you can see uh, I'm not sure whether you can be able to see at the moment but my fingernail can fit right in there there's three of these lines that goes all the way around the urn and then once we get to the back you can see these casket slash coffins again this is the exact same as the box except instead of black and purple it's black and gold and also um yeah basically it is what you, it is with this urn i got this for my birthday my mum got it for 30 pound uh the day after wrestlemania i think she ordered it when there was a sale it's currently selling actually i'm not even sure i haven't seen it on wwe shop for a while but last time i checked it was selling for around 50 pound I recommend not buying it for that price, I recommend waiting for a sale as I do not think it is worth that much money. I do believe that £30-25 pounds, um, is kind of the right price because it is what it is, it's a, it's a collector's item, it's for displays, there's no real purpose, to, there's no use for it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review guys, I'm about to switch back to the face camera with the better microphone audio and everything so hopefully that's better for you guys sorry the microphone audio has dropped during this clip but it will get better and i'll see you in a second okay so this was my review of the undertaker's urn from wwe shop this is my first ever time reviewing something actually um there should be another review coming up some point soon uh, probably in the next around the next three days any time in the next three days uh, i'm not going to say what it is yet but it is something i've been wanting for a long time and i finally got it so yeah anyways tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below like seriously i've never done one of these before and i don't know if i'm any good at them if i was good then be sure to leave the video a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video i've been joe from joe talks wrestling and come back next time for more wrestling content. Goodbye.